Ty Brown is executive director of the uh, Brooklyn United Marching Band. Take a listen. And February is Black History Month, and uh, he's got a list of the top five musicians that have made a difference in black history. And i got to tell you, this is going to be very educational. Uh, by the way, the uh, Brooklyn United Music and Arts Program <coughs> excuse me, serves New York City youth, and they're pretty amazing. Uh, good morning, Ty. Thanks for joining us. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, I was enjoying listening to some music. We used that to introduce you. It's a uh, good group you got, and you you work with uh, some uh, some great kids, I would imagine. Uh, man, let me tell you, this group is such such full of talent, um, character. These young people are just doing amazing things. It's exciting. Well, we love it. We've got a group here locally called Enrichment, and it works with inner city youth, and they've got a drum line that is just phenomenal, and they've branched out into other arts. So I have a feeling they're kind of like modeled after after your program. Um, oh, yes, yes. But what I wanted to ask you about is uh, interesting. It's Black History Month, and I think many times we lose sight of our history and those who forged the way ahead of us and especially in music you know I, I saw your list of the top five musicians that made a difference in black history and I would guess that most everybody knows the name Quincy Jones correct exactly but some of the other ones maybe not could you share yeah definitely well you know when we think about his Black History Month and as, as relates to music, and so many um, pathfinders that really paved the way, uh, it's important that we, we, we make the young people aware. You know, the funny part about it is we actually got a phone call to do a performance with Quincy Jones in a few weeks. And when I said it to the kids, it was like, okay, another performance. I said it to the parents, the parents are like super excited. You know, it's important because the young people only know about today. Right. They only know what's going on today. And there's so many um, 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 people who have made the path for us that's, that allowed us to have the style of music, the type of music that you're playing is all created by someone from the past. So it's important to keep them abreast of, of the Max Roaches of the world, who was an amazing drummer who just really paved the way in a lot of the styles and changed things around. Um, Quincy Jones, who's a producer, who created, you know, music soundtracks besides just, you know, um, on regular commercial music, but soundtracks and things of that nature. Um, um, Mahalia Jackson and the, and the, the breakthrough with, with, with gospel music and things of that nature. It's so important to keep the young people um, um, informed of who came before us. Um, as they begin to learn styles of music and types of music. Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny you said that because the, the parents were excited about Quincy Jones, and you go, but but Michael yeah. Jackson with Quincy, I mean, he he, oh my gosh, right? Exactly. <laughs> and they're exactly. going, why did you get us Chance the Rapper for crying out loud? You know, so I get exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, again, again, you know, the parents jumped up and down for joy. The kids are like, what's the big deal? You know, and then we, it's important because it does remind us to go back home open up the computer, share with them who it was, then they learn appreciation for the arts, appreciation for who, who came before us. And then it's like, oh, okay. And you begin to recognize some of the movies that they watched, some of the TV shows that they watched, some of the music that's being played today was samples by the greats. And and that's when the appreciation for it becomes um, greater to our, our current generation. All right, well, I have to ask you about one who many feel might have been one of the greatest composers of all time, Duke Ellington. Could you share a little bit about him, why he is so important? Man, I mean, tell you, his effects on on jazz um, music has been um, really amazing. And again, that was a good eye opener moment where the kids who appreciated jazz they did recognize some of the songs and some of the music. Um, uh, personally, Duke Ellington taught. My my teacher, the person who brought me into music, played with Duke Ellington, traveled around with Duke Ellington. He played the trumpet player from 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 Grammar State University named Johnny Walker, and he's the one that taught me. And he played with Duke Ellington, and that was amazing uh, for me to know. So you know, I I, I play the music as a kid to coming into practice. I play these these these, these people. I play these these tunes. So I want to keep them understanding and to make sure they have an appreciation for it. So we know. During History Month, we do two things at Brooklyn United. We honor our past, but we also honor our current. We honor our students as history makers. We tell them, well, who, who's going to be the one amongst this group that people are writing about and talking about 30 years from now? And they really appreciate and understand the things they're doing today creates history for tomorrow. And that's the thing about the month. The month is an opportunity just really to explain to young people, not only do we honor 
our past, but what are you doing today that's going to be a history-making moment for tomorrow and for the future generation? Well, that's amazing. All right, Brooklyn United Music and Arts Program, uh, bkunitedmb.com. Uh, it sounds like you've got an amazing... I mean, well, first of all, Quincy Jones, they invited yes. you. That's amazing. Yep, 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 yep. Three weeks from now, we'll be opening up a, a brand-new theater here in New York City. Um, it's very similar to Lincoln Center, and Quincy Jones is, is, is top of the project, and he, he called us up and said, hey, he needs a drum line. We'll definitely be there. Super excited to work with him. I mean, it's just amazing. It's just an amazing time for Brooklyn United to do what we do and be able to kind of pave the way for other groups to come behind us. Well, uh, that's uh, that's awesome. I've got your uh, your audio up on YouTube, one, one of the performances they did, and I, I think I'll make sure our listeners get a chance to uh, see that, and, uh, and we'll link up to it on our website. Ty, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good luck. I'm Jay Farner, CEO of Quicken Loans, America's premier home purchase lender. We've created a new way to protect you from unpredictable interest rates. Our